Weeks after the deadly Oxford High School shooting, local school districts and law enforcement continue to see students posting threats online. Today, another local school canceled classes after a threat was seen on Snapchat. Students, parents and teachers are still on edge after last month's deadly shooting. As TV5's James Felton reports, whether or not they are credible, people who make threats will be caught. I appreciate that they took it seriously. Kimberly Gray has three daughters in the Goodrich Area Schools District. Goodrich closed school for the day because of a threat on Snapchat, naming GHS. School administrators erred on the side of caution because they could not determine the credibility of the threat. Gray supports the district's decision, telling me her girls have been on edge since the Oxford shooting. She said, I had to go to my locker the other day because I had forgotten something for class and she said, Mom, I ran to my locker and ran back. And I said, why, honey? And she said, I was so afraid that somebody might come out of the bathroom. I just, I didn't want to be alone in the hallways. Threats on social media shuttered classrooms across the country today. Closer to home, most schools throughout mid-Michigan were open. Shepherd Police Chief Luke Sawyer said he was aware of the threat. I think like the Tide Pod challenge or whatever was on TikTok and kids were eating Tide Pods. So, you know, you can't just totally dismiss it and say, you know, we're just going to pretend like it's not there. But as of right now, there's just no credible evidence um, that I've seen or heard about that this is anything more than just somebody trying to get a rise out of people. Sawyer is hoping whoever is behind the threat gets caught and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. It's very frustrating for us um, to think that, you know, somebody would think that something like this is funny or that it's a good idea. As for Gray, she says she plans on sending her daughters to school next week for the two and a half days before a much needed winter break. I'm, you know, very proud of Goodrich, um, the staff there for, for being um, proactive and just making sure that we're safe and not sorry. James Felton, WNEM TV5.